Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into Sorcerer Tower Defense where every single unit wields some kind of crazy magic power. But let's be real, not all of them are ready to face the serious threats out there. This game is packed with characters inspired by Jujutsu Kaisen, and while some of them bring insane firepower, others might just struggle to hold their ground against tougher enemies. So if you're finding it tough to decide who's worth investing in, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we're breaking down the ultimate tier list, showing you the best and the rest of the magic wielding lineup. Whether you're looking to dominate in defense or just want to know who's fun to use, this guide will help you pick the top units and avoid the ones that aren't quite battle ready. Ready? Let's jump right into the world of Sorcerer Tower Defense. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking units in Sorcerer Tower Defense. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. A very small portion of the audience is subscribed to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like these types of videos. Thanks. The units in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Basic Sorcerer, Broom Sorcerer, Medusa Sorcerer, and Reverse Energy Sorcerer. Alright, let's talk about the D tier units in Sorcerer Tower Defense. Trust me, you'll want to steer clear of these guys unless you're just starting out and have no other options. These D tier units are the kind you drop on the battlefield out of desperation, and even then, they'll likely just let you down. So, let's dive into why each of these units just isn't worth your time. First up, the Basic Sorcerer. This is your starting unit and, well, it's as basic as it sounds. There's really nothing special going on here. The basic sorcerer's range and damage are minimal and it's not exactly cheap enough to justify how weak it is. You'll quickly replace it and honestly, you might forget it even existed by mid game. In short, it's like the tutorial character you're not supposed to actually play with. Next, we've got the broom sorcerer. This one is a rare unit and it sounds cool, right? Flying around on a broom, but nope, it doesn't live up to the hype. Sure, it's technically a support unit and buffs allies range, which sounds like it could be helpful. But in practice, the buff is so minor that it's barely noticeable. You'd be better off putting your resources into a unit that actually deals some damage or has a meaningful impact. Now let's talk about the Medusa Sorcerer. This one is straight up misleading. Medusa sounds powerful, but in Sorcerer Tower Defense, this Sorcerer is just slow, expensive, and honestly, kind of a waste. It has terrible range and lacks the impact you'd expect for its cost. So unless you like the idea of watching an overpriced statue with minimal effect on the battlefield, you're better off saving your gold for a unit that actually does something. And finally, we have the Reverse Energy Sorcerer. On paper, it's supposed to be useful. It removes stun from your allies. But here's the thing, in most situations, it's not enough to justify dedicating a unit slot to it. This sorcerer ends up feeling more like a filler pick than a game changer. So, unless you're in a very specific situation where stun removal is make or break, you'll want to avoid it. So, there you have it. The D tier units in Sorcerer Tower Defense. They might look interesting at first glance, but trust me, once you get the hang of the game, these units won't be sticking around for long. Save your resources and focus on building a squad that's actually going to make a difference out there. The units in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Cursed Speech Sorcerer, Guitar Sorcerer, Panda, Finger Bearer, Weapon Sorcerer, and Young Sorcerer. Alright, let's dive right into the C tier units. Now, these guys aren't exactly the superstars of Sorcerer Tower Defense, but they still bring some cool abilities to the table, especially when you're just starting out or experimenting with different strategies. Don't be surprised if you find yourself keeping a couple of them around for a little while. They've got enough flair to make things interesting. And who doesn't love a little surprise underdog moment? First up, we've got Cursed Speech Sorcerer. This unit has a solid cone AoE attack, meaning it can hit multiple enemies in one shot if they're within that cone range. Not exactly a sniper though, its range is pretty average, but hey, it's still useful when you're facing a horde. The Cursed Speech Sorcerer might not always save the day, but when positioned well, it can clear out groups pretty efficiently. Just don't expect it to be doing much at the back of your defenses. Guitar Sorcerer is one of those units that might seem niche, but it's actually a ton of fun to use. Instead of direct damage, Guitar Sorcerer is here to pump up your team's attack speed, which can be a real game changer when combined with high damage units. Sure, its main talent isn't hitting the bad guys, but imagine your heaviest hitters just wailing on enemies at double speed. 
For a C tier, that's a pretty handy ability if you can work it into your strategy. Then we have Panda. Now Panda's got some AOE power, which sounds great, but don't get too excited. It's got below average range, so it's best placed somewhere enemies are guaranteed to pass through. Panda might seem like it's falling short compared to higher tier units, but that AOE can still make it useful early on, especially if you want a unit that can do some spread damage without costing a fortune. It's a solid pick for beginners looking to hold the line. Our next C tier gem is Finger Bearer, and this one has a rage buff that kicks its damage up a notch. If you're just looking for a straightforward unit with solid damage output, Finger Bearer is a good choice. That rage buff can be especially handy when you need a little boost against tankier enemies. It's not going to single-handedly change the game, but it definitely pulls its weight in the right setup. Plus, there's something satisfying about watching it go berserk on enemies. Finally, we've got Weapon Sorcerer and Young Sorcerer. The Weapon Sorcerer does a moly slash attack with pretty good damage, which makes it a reliable choice if you need something that can handle close combat with style. As for Young Sorcerer, it's a budget-friendly pick with decent damage, but the best part? It actually synergizes with Axe Sorcerer, making it surprisingly useful if you're looking for ways to amp up your combos. These two might be low tier, but with the right setup, they can hold their own. So, while these units may not be the absolute best in Sorcerer Tower defense, they bring just enough variety and tactical fun to keep things interesting. The units in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Amplifying Sorcerer, Bow Sorcerer, Boogie Sorcerer, Choso, Hammer Sorcerer, and Sword Sorcerer. Alright, let's dive into the fascinating world of a B-tier Sorcerer units in Sorcerer Tower Defense. These units might not be at the top of the food chain, but they're definitely not to be underestimated. They offer some solid utility and can really sway the tide of battle, especially if you're working with a less than perfect roster. So, grab your spellbooks and let's explore these magical characters. First up, we have the Amplifying Sorcerer. Now, this unit isn't one for direct combat, no attacks here. Instead, they provide a fantastic 20% damage buff to your other units. The catch? They're a bit pricey and you can only place one at a time, but if you're strategizing around a powerhouse setup, this sorcerer could be your secret weapon. Just imagine boosting the damage of your top hitters while they do all the heavy lifting. Next on the list is the Bow Sorcerer. This unit is a fantastic pick if you're looking for something with range and versatility. They can dish out multi-hit attacks, making them a real threat to enemy waves. Their good range allows them to hit targets from a distance so they can be tucked away in the backline, raining down magical arrows while staying safe. If you want a reliable unit that can handle multiple foes at once, the Bow Sorcerer is your go-to. Now, let's talk about the Boogie Sorcerer. This character adds a quirky twist to your strategy. With synergy alongside the Red Scarf Sorcerer, the Boogie Sorcerer brings a unique ability to the table. It may not trigger often, just a 1% chance, but when it does, it can turn the tides of battle with its strong Boogie ability. It's all about risk versus reward here. Do you feel lucky enough to unleash that funky magic? Moving on, we have Chozo, who's all about the range game. This sorcerer delivers continuous damage, making them perfect for wearing down tougher enemies over time. With their excellent range, they can handle the heat without breaking a sweat. Pairing Choso with some high damage units can create a solid 1-2 punch that keeps enemies at bay while steadily chipping away at their health. Last but certainly not least, let's highlight the Hammer Sorcerer and the Sword Sorcerer. Both of these units bring multi-hit capabilities to your arsenal, with the Hammer Sorcerer adding a bleed effect for even more damage over time. They also boast good range, ensuring they can support your defense while keeping the enemy forces in check. With these two on your side, you'll have a formidable front line to handle whatever comes your way. So whether you're filling out your squad with these B-tier sorcerers or looking for that perfect combo to enhance your gameplay, these units provide plenty of options to keep things interesting. Embrace their unique strengths, and who knows, you might just surprise your opponents with a well-timed strategy. Happy gaming, everyone! The units in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Red Scarf Sorcerer, Overtime Sorcerer, Sorcerer Agent, and Ice Manipulator. Alright, let's dive right into the amazing A tier units in Sorcerer Tower Defense. These units are not just good, they are excellent additions to your team that can really turn the tide of battle. If you're looking to create a winning strategy, you definitely want to include these powerful units. First up, we have the Red Scarf Sorcerer. This little powerhouse has a special ability called Black Flash, which deals AOE damage. What makes it even more exciting is that it has a 1% chance to trigger. But wait, it gets better. 
When you pair this sorcerer with the boogie sorcerer, that chance to trigger doubles. So, imagine having a whole horde of enemies coming at you and suddenly, BAM! The black flash hits and you're clearing them out left and right. It's like having your own personal fireworks show. Next on the list is the Overtime Sorcerer. This unit also brings the heat with its own AoE black flash ability. However, it takes it up a notch by dealing extra damage with a 10% chance to trigger. With the potential for higher damage output, the Overtime Sorcerer is fantastic for those tougher waves when you really need to keep the pressure on. You can count on it to handle multiple enemies at once, making it a versatile choice in any situation. Now, let's talk about the Sorcerer Agent. If you're looking for a unit that can help your team generate more resources, this is your guy. The Sorcerer Agent is essentially your money-making machine. It's indispensable for farming, allowing you to build up your resources while you fend off waves of enemies. With this unit in your arsenal, you'll find it much easier to upgrade your defenses and deploy even more powerful units later on. Last but certainly not least, we have the Ice Manipulator. This unit shines with its cone AoE attack that not only deals damage but also slows down enemies. Picture this, you've got a crowd of enemies barreling toward your towers and suddenly, the Ice Manipulator activates. Not only does it slow them down, but it gives your other units more time to take them out before they reach your defenses. It's a game changer for controlling the battlefield, so there you have it. These A-tier units in Sorcerer Tower Defense are absolutely essential for crafting an effective strategy. Whether it's dealing massive AoE damage or slowing down the enemy horde, these units will elevate your gameplay and help you secure victory. Don't sleep on adding them to your team. The units in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Curse Manipulator, Strongest Sorcerer and Mojito. Alright folks, let's dive into the heart of Sorcerer Tower Defense and talk about the creme de la creme of units, the S-tier Sorcerer TD units. These guys are the heavy hitters of the game, and if you see one pop up, you better snag them immediately. Seriously, these units can turn the tide of any battle, and we're here to break down why you need them on your team. First up, we have the Curse Manipulator. Now, this isn't your average Joe, this unit comes packing some serious punch. The Curse Summon ability not only has an impressive amount of HP, but also offers different curses at each level. That means as you upgrade, you're not just getting a tougher unit, you're getting unique abilities that can really mess with your enemies. And let's not forget about Uzumaki. At max level, it delivers splash damage in a targeted spot, allowing you to clear out clusters of enemies like a pro. You'll want this unit in your arsenal for sure. Next, let's talk about the strongest sorcerer. This unit is not just a name, it lives up to the hype. Immune to stun and boasting fantastic area of effect damage, it's designed to wreak havoc on enemy waves. But wait, it gets better. Not only does it deal excellent damage, but it also slows down enemies. Picture this, your foes are rushing toward your defenses and BAM! The strongest sorcerer slows them down while unleashing chaos. Talk about a game changer. Now, let's get to the main attraction. Mojito. This guy is a force to be reckoned with. First off, he has an insta-kill ability, which is just chef's kiss. But it doesn't stop there. Mojito can summon minions to do his bidding. It's like having your own personal army ready to take down foes. With his abilities, Mahito truly stands out as one of the most versatile and powerful units in Sorcerer Tower Defense. If you see him, you're in for a treat. So, whether you're upgrading your Curse Manipulator, unleashing the power of the strongest sorcerer, or summoning Chaos with Mahito, these S-tier units are the key to dominating the battlefield. Trust me, you'll want to prioritize these characters in your game strategy. They're not just good, they're absolutely essential for anyone serious about climbing the ranks in Sorcerer Tower Defense. Happy gaming and may your defenses hold strong. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.